Hello everyone, Shadow TSI here with your weekly news roundup for August 4th, 2020. Not a big news week, but we got a couple of things we can talk about. The first thing we want to talk about is Spider-Man being an exclusive character for the Avengers game for the PS5. Fans are not happy about this. It's coming out in um, early 2021 for free as a download content. Uh, it's not going to be the same kind of Spider-Man character as the one from Insomniac, so don't expect that. The other thing is going on with a lot, I got a couple of Microsoft I was talking about. First thing that they did, they did rebuild their Microsoft Store on the Xbox Live dashboard, which is a good thing because as you can see from this video, it's a lot faster, it's cleaner, it's easier, and it's way more organized. When I first came to the Xbox One and looked at that store, I said, I don't know where anything is. It's not even organized that was just stuff everywhere so i'm glad to see that they fixed this got it corrected and uh as you can see it's a lot faster and it runs a lot better uh, this will be coming out pretty soon i think this is a fall update so you won't see that until then what else is going on in microsoft i said i had a few things and i do um the xbox game pass has rebranded and drop the Xbox part of it, and just as you can see, it just says Game Pass there. Um, there's some speculation that the Game Pass may be available on other platforms. Like, can you just imagine if it was available, say, on the PlayStation 5 or something like that? That would be incredible. So, there's that. Also, um, xCloud coming for three months free on the Galaxy Note 20. Cool, cool, cool. I'm a big fan of xCloud. Everybody knows that. Being able to play Xbox games on your phone with your friends while they're playing on Xbox is a very, very cool thing. Dr. Disrespect is back in the headlines. I swear this guy just wants to be. Uh, talk about him filing a lawsuit against Twitch, I guess, because he got banned. But everybody kind of looked at him and said, you kind of know why you got banned. So I don't know. Is your TV ready for the next uh, generation consoles? I don't know if it is, if, if, unless you bought it within the last year and have HDMI 2.1, you will be able to play the games, but what's gonna happen is that if you want that 120 frames per second, you're gonna have to get a television with the HDMI, HDMI 2.1. That's gonna give you a lot more bandwidth. The difference is like uh, 18 gigabytes per second to 48 gigabytes per second, and it's gonna be capable of 10K. TCL in that same thought process has teamed up with THX. Now they're going to cert THX is going to certify TCL's televisions for um, for game for gamers specifically. And I know I'm jumbling my words there, but let me explain what's going on. Basically, they're going to take take a look at the color quality, the refresh rates, and how quick the TV could go from light to dark because gamers, you know, that kind of, that's that stuff's got to go quick. Um, and then they're gonna they're gonna stick a certification on that, and that's great for gamers. That just says a lot about the future of games and game consoles and what we are playing our stuff on. Oh, games coming out. What do we got? Um, Call of Duty Season Five is uh, out today. Actually, I think yes, it is. It's out today. It's a pretty hefty download, but uh, take a look at this trailer. Tell me what you think. Are you ready? You ready to start this fire? Always. You know that. That's what I like to hear. How about some fireworks? Whole squad ready. Good effect on target, Shadows. Doors open, bring in the bird. That on my watch. No way. Brain, what you got? I'm going to the top. Guess who's back? What you got? I'm going to the top.
And here are the only two games worth mentioning coming out this week, Fast and the Furious Crossroads and Inertia Drift. I'm going to split. It's the only way to keep you both safe. I think I know someone who can help. Hustle never stops, I got no brakes. You ready to ride? We want revenge. We want justice. We're gonna jump onto a moving train? I got you! Jump! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! When in doubt, do what I do. I've seen what you do. why I'm kind of terrified. And I don't need a finish line, I'm in my own lane. Do you want to stay amateurs? Or take this to the next level? That's going to do it for us this week, August 4th, 2020, on our video game news roundup. I do appreciate you guys checking it out. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you'll always know when we drop new videos. We've got a lot of videos coming down the pipe. Expect them soon. We are so, so excited that we are now streaming, or rather I'm streaming, on Facebook Gaming. Check that out. It's called The Shadow Corporation. I just love talking to you guys about it. You'll hear a lot of news tidbits while I'm streaming. I love just talking about video games. I hope you guys show up and check that out. As always, uh, we, I just appreciate every, all the viewers. Thank you so much. We appreciate all the messages that we're getting. Thanks again. It, it's just fantastic and I really appreciate it all. <laughs> That's going to do it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video.